guys welcome back so guys we are just continuing with the about a scrud application with the lequent model so guys now in this video we are going to update the data okay so till now we have done fetching and editing the data and taking into a text box now after editing your data now you are going to update so when you click on update the data should get updated okay so guys now let us let's get started with the coding part and let me get back so yes guys let us get back to our code and here guys so we are continuing from the previous video itself so in previous video we have fetched the data into our text boxes now when i click on update button the time the data should get updated okay guys so now let us check with the url okay so let us set a url that will be url with about about as update okay about us update with the with id okay so that is nothing but the about us I will take that about us colon id done so this is the id guys so you can take this id or else you can pass through the input and update the data ok so guys now let us copy this about us and let's go to our route web.php file and let us update it ok so click our route type route and you are going to put the data so put means updating the file and paste your url slash you are taking the data with the id and you are going back to your controller that is admin about us controller at update ok done so guys now let us copy this and go to your controller so let me get back to controller and let create a function ok so public function update the name you have given in the url so guys now you have to find the first let us create a variable call about us is equal to where i am going to find the id this is my model about us table ok eloquent model where I am going to find or fail the id dollar id ok and let us pass the request okay. request dollar request comma and the id alright so when the id comes over here and then let us copy this variable and paste it into your title first so title is nothing but the database which you have ok so that is nothing but localhost slash php my admin so th that is nothing but this title subtitle and description I have created into my database so I can show it over here also guys so these are the things title subtitle and database ok and description so guys now first thing we will go to edit ok so before that we will just complete this one for no confusion A request from the input that will be the title ok paste title and this will be subtitle copy and give your input also as subtitle and this will be the description description done copy and they make this also a description finish guys so now let us copy this variable and give it over here and call the 
update function to update the data so after updating return and redirect okay redirect with the message that is status okay for example you can just copy this and paste it over here your data is updated okay data updated for about us redirect to which page to your this page itself okay after editing and updating you should get back to about us page only so let's call that url and yes guys so now you are taking a request right from this with the which method you are getting with the put method okay so let us go to our edit form and type the method first method underscore field of put okay and now you have to call the name title subtitle and description these three are correct okay so guys now it's perfect when i click on submit button it will call this route and take with the post method all the datas and then it will go to route and it will check for the put and then pass to the controller at update fine then update the request dollar request whatever the requests are coming it will fetch in this and then update the data by its correct id whatever it is searched okay so guys now let us view the output and see to it okay just refresh the page and now this is the id 3 and i want to change this uh, our vision mission okay so let us type so let us make it as our mission this is a web development course okay that's it so let me copy this also and make happy whatever now let us update and let's see whether it's getting updated or not so let's click on update and updated your data has about us updated okay so guys let us see the third id yes boom so the data is updated now and yes guys so let us reload and see once again the data is correct yes guys it's perfect so guys uh, now we have completed the update one that is the uh, edit and update the data okay so guys now yes guys we have completed it so in next video we will be learning about how to delete the data okay so when i delete it should ask me a confirmation so we will redirect this to another page or else we will call a model pop-up model simple okay through that we can delete it so or else we will redirect to another page or else you can delete directly done okay so guys uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share